morning guys welcome back to the channel uh, welcome to a bit of a different video and obviously you guys know what is happening by the title um, obviously we're still not sure what's actually going to end up happening but as you know we are off to Auckland to go look at a truck up in, um, up in Auckland and uh, hopefully bring it home so it's uh, exciting definitely time we had a new vehicle on the channel because it has just been too long without a daily, without a tow wagon, and uh, the vehicle we're off to go and look at is quite special. Won't say too much about it yet, um, let's get our way up to Auckland, um, so let's hit a montage. It's a cold one this morning! Alright guys, well we're uh, just arrived at Auckland Airport, um, good flight, cracking weather, anyway, see the truck, we'll go have a look and uh, we'll catch up with you guys shortly, but it's just over here. Alright guys, well it's probably been an hour or so since uh, we had the camera going, uh, we took it for a test drive, had a good look over it, uh, liked the truck, so uh, made the guy an offer and uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've worked out a price. Welcome to the channel's new uh, P38 Range Rover, so it's actually my first Land Rover I've owned that's not been a disco. Um, definitely like the same but different, it's quite interesting. Um, as you guys know by the title of this video, the reason we got it, the thing that's special about it is the engine, it's a BMW M57 uh, 3 litre turbo diesel that's been swapped into it, so it fair boogies, it, it really moves. Anyway, we're going to get out of this car park, um, hit the road, start heading south, um, we'll find a nice spot to pull off and uh, walk you through the truck a bit more. Um, anyway, but that's a quick look at it. Um, yeah, let's hit the road map, what do you reckon? Let's do it, 16 hours of driving coming up. Far out. What a cameraman. He's a shocker. What a guy. Well guys, driving through Hamilton and uh, down, been a bit of a slog but uh, we just hit Taupo, well just past Taupo and uh, we're at, oh, I think it's Mototiri Beach, far out, this is unbelievable, check this out. The uh, new truck's going like an absolute champ. Fire out that thing has so much torque, it's ridiculous. The, uh, yeah, just all the go in the world makes overtaking a breeze. And uh, yeah, it's a joy, joy to drive so far. And uh, yeah, we've just been having a good time. Got the music cranking, just cranking out the Ks. We've got a wee spot down on the desert road we're planning on stopping where we'll take you through a bit of a look on the truck. Um, but mate, it's just too good not to stop. I mean, just. Have a go at this, would you? Snow in the mountains, just stunning. So yeah, it's safe to say, uh, I'm glad we stopped, it was just too good not to, so probably just hang out here for five minutes and then uh, continue on. What do you reckon, Matt? Oh, what a place. Hard can't, to beat. Can't beat it. You probably can, a good pie shop would do it, but you know, this will do. Hey guys, 
as well as you've seen in the video we've been cruising through the desert road absolutely motoring along this thing this thing moves i can't get over how well it goes on road it's yeah, gonna make for a beautiful tow wagon i can say that much for sure anyway uh we decided just to pop down a wee side road and uh, found a wee clearing so we can actually take you over the truck absolutely stunning wee spot i better show you where we're at first because it's just unreal it's proper cold there's ice everywhere but oh shame about the sun but not a bad wee spot what do you reckon man cold. it is cold anyway this is the truck it's a 1996 range rover uh, p38 um, it is the well his factory was a 2.5 litre diesel um, m51 bmw engine from factory and it's had the old m51 ripped out and a bmw m57 uh, swapped in so um, for those of you who are interested or know about the m57s they make a heap of power heap of torque three liter six cylinder and uh, this thing proper boogies um so yeah that's that's basically the uh, key selling point on the truck other than that it's uh, just a just another rangey really um it certainly had a lot of work done on it it's got um a 4.6 V8 uh, gearbox put in, the 4 uh, HP 24 instead of the 22 um, just because the old one got a bit cooked with the extra power um, it's got a 2 inch lift um, coil springs all around so that's been converted and uh, it's got uh, 32 inch BFG tyres which are definitely due for, a, due for a replacement so I've got a set of tyres already waiting at home for it so there's those and also these really nice uh, terra firma wheels they are beadlock ready so you can bet your bottom dollar i'll be getting uh, the beadlock rings to make those uh, true bead lockers so the idea with this truck is that it is um used basically as my daily driver tow wagon and uh shouldn't be used off-road but let's be honest it's going to be roped into uh off-roading duties uh probably just light touring and stuff especially while uh, the work on lando is being done um other than that i mean like proper nice inside a little bit tired but uh full leather interior all the jazz um it's got a three inch uh stainless steel exhaust i believe it's three inch um definitely needs a muffler removing for my liking uh get a bit a bit more of the growl going um but yeah it's just really really comfortable um as i said the first land rover i've owned that's not a disco and it's funny it's all the same but different and it just drives beautifully it's got a terra firma um winch bar up front um with a runva 11 xp premium winch in there nice big skid plate as well so it's uh it's got all the goodies that you i could really need um to begin with just needs a good tidy up like as you can see we've got paint paint peel on the uh, bonnet um i don't know what's gone on here but the wing mirrors got the old old hot glue saving the day but uh yeah we'll get a few clips of this truck for you um and then yeah we'll continue on because it's getting late we've got to be in wellington tonight we're staying with uh, one of our friends from the full drive comp scene so it's like four o'clock after oh, 4 20 now 4 20 4 30 so 4 30, 4 30 so, so yeah we've got a long way still to go because we're in the middle of the desert road so anyway that's a quick rundown on the truck um you'll be seeing it heaps on the channel but first things first uh, let's have a look over it and uh, then get out of here Right guys, well it's uh, 3.30 now, um, we ended up having to uh, stay up in uh, Carpety Coast, uh, we didn't realise it was up on the coast, we thought we were in Wellington, so um, it was a bit of an earlier start, we started at 2.30 but massive thanks to uh, Greg, Greg for uh, yeah, opening up his uh, home and letting us stay for the evening, it was uh, much appreciated, um, yeah, shower went down an absolute treat and uh, yeah, 
good good few hours sleep. Anyway, we're down at the Inter Islander now, just waiting for a vehicle check-in to open up. And uh, yeah, we're going to cruise on through. Um, not much more really to say, so we'll uh, catch you on the Inter Islander. Enjoying yourself? Sure am. Well, there we have it, guys. As you can see, we're now back home. Uh, the rangey is beautiful to drive the whole way home. Um, awesome, awesome weather as well. Uh, could not complain with that. So, um, obviously, there's a lot of changes I'm going to be doing to the uh, P38 over the next wee bit. But uh, you know, the main attraction of the uh, engine swap and um, the fact it's been simplified a lot um, was. You know key selling point so uh, now it's just making it my own so I've got some new tires to throw on it and uh, a couple of other goodies going on it uh, which you'll be seeing in upcoming videos so uh, make sure you uh, hit subscribe to stay tuned for that as well as all the other off-roading content we've got coming your way uh, we just uh, filmed the uh, Dunedin round of the mainland winch challenge um, so that's going to be out next week as well so stay tuned for that uh, give us a like if you enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah make sure to go let me know what you think of the new rig down in the comments uh, down below and we'll catch you all in the next video thank you very much for watching we'll see you then cheers guys oh how nice of him he's coming back to get me